Hi, it's House County. This is reporter John Miller with a preview of what you can expect to see in this week's paper. First up in the news, Memorial Day in Taos County saw numerous events held in honor of those who have given their lives serving the country. From the traveling Vietnam Wall to the healing field in Cuesta, staff photographer Morgan Timms was on the scene to capture the activity. Her work can be viewed on our website, taosnews.com, and in Thursday's paper. The weekend was darkened, however, by the death of Pueblo, Colorado man Corey Gomez, who crashed his motorcycle while allegedly fleeing from law enforcement early Saturday morning in Red River. The 24-year-old was pronounced dead near the 1200 block of Main Street after an apparent ejection when his bike lost traction on the roadway. Other causes of the crash, however, are pending the results of a toxicology report. And reporter Cody Hooks is preparing our final political coverage before the county primary election on June 5th. This week, he'll take a look at a three-way race for the District 40 seat in the New Mexico legislature. He'll also break down local concerns involving animals, strays, the shelter, and efforts to reduce the number of unwanted dogs and cats around the county. Be sure to check out our complete package of political coverage before heading to the polls next week. In education news, Taos County bade farewell to its final high school grads for the 2017-18 school year as capped and gown seniors picked up their diplomas at Vista Grande, Cuesta, and Penasco High Schools last week. Congrats to all the graduates and good luck to those entering their senior year this fall. In Tempo, this week's cover story is all about the music on the Mothership Festival. From nationally known acts such as Mo. Railroad Earth, the infamous String Dusters, Rising Appalachia, and Fruition, the three-day event is sure to keep fans jamming at Taos Mesa Brewing. We're also covering the first Taos Plaza Live for 2018 on Thursday, featuring Albuquerque Boy Choir, David Garver, and Jimmy Stadler. There's a lot more in tempo, including a movie review of Solo, a Star Wars story. And in sports, a local dance team gets a golden ticket and prepares to travel to the East Coast for their World of Dance competition in late July. The Senior Olympics are looking for a few good men and women, and Raptors and Snakes plan a visit to Taos. Also, be sure to check out our Month in Sports photo gallery. In weather, highs are expected to remain in the 80s throughout the week, with a peak around 87 on Saturday and lows in the 40s followed by some possible thunderstorms and much-needed rain Sunday afternoon. And that'll do it for this week's preview. Make sure to like us on Facebook and Twitter, and visit our website for breaking news updates. Other than that, have a good weekend, Taos.